What is up and what is glorious? Welcome to part two of making over the entire thrift headquarters. Oh, you fat man. I, 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 I got, I got the like internet that. going nuts. And I just want to fill in all of these gaps that are blank right now on this wall. And then we have the rest of the prison cell that we have to take over, redecorate, and upgrade. So it's going to be an entire makeover video done today, or at least as much as I can get done. And we're going to see if I can keep elevating the space. But once again, guys, thank y'all for watching. Please be sure to smash that like button. It is the best way to support your boy and also subscribe if you guys are not already. But with that being said, let's get started. I thrifted a ton of picture frames and it's time to fill in all these gaps and have this wall looking delicious. So here's the methodology I'm thinking. I have all these different frames and I try and make them look unique, but still all tie in to create that chic gallery wall vibe. So they're all kind of like golds, browns. This one has a little bit of red. Just to contrast, it'd be interesting. You have different textures and all these were less than like three bucks a pop. And because this wall has some vertical elements that are all the same width, I really want to break it up with some different sized frames. I found this magazine in the bins and it has all these different cool photos, different sizes of basketball players. You got Grant Hill right there. You have different ads, Michael Jordan. I think I'm gonna chop this dude up, include some of these pictures in the small frames. You dig? So forget a magazine, dude. I feel like framing up old pieces of literature is definitely a better way to use these things. Just look at MJ right there. Oh my God. Then I used my scissor work pause to go ahead and cut out Grant Hill, framed him up as well. And then we had a tiny magazine cover to match it. Nice. Now next up, I cut out this semi-erotic Georgia O'Keeffe calendar <gasps> to make sure it would fit in the frame properly and fit in, it did. So I hung that guy up, then I added some auxiliary pieces of interior decor in the form of small picture frames to fill in the rest of the gaps and have everything looking absolutely splendid, darling. <laughs> All right guys, look at the mess below my feet, man. I have spent an inordinate amount of time in doing this tiny little detail work. It is crazy when you got nooks and crannies to fill and only so many frames that actually fit the stuff you have. But this area is looking fine and dandy. And next as a little bit of uh, added irony, we're gonna put Michael Vick next to my boy, Richter Von Brubert. Just to uh, uh, <laughs> make sure there's a little bit of juxtaposition right here. So I think, I think that's a vibe. Hey, Peter, sue me, man. I'm still pretty much vegan, though. What's good? Then I added some postcards I purchased in Italy to remind me of my travels, and no corner goes undecorated, bruh. I had to put on some little records on the side of my snack cabinet. Bob James is a freak. Foot fetish. Sweet, dude. Look here, y'all. Nothing goes undecorated. Nothing. All right, my brethren, so a week has transpired since I did pretty much finish up the Navy wall, and now it is time to tackle this blank catastrophe of a canvas. So everything I'm gonna throw up on this wall is going to be in black frames, which you guys know, I find in one singular place, the thrift. And I also get a couple at Walmart as well. Don't get it twisted. Like I had to find one specifically for this amazing Nike Nolan Ryan piece, the king of zing. So you guys already know. But yeah, for really big poster sizes, sometimes it does help just to spend the extra money to find those things. But if you've got all the time in the world, by all means, thrift them. But yeah, it's time to decorate this. There are a ton of uneven marks in the paint job. Big old scuffs, I don't know what that is. A hole that was filled in. So I just wanna make sure that all the flaws are covered by some major big pieces of art. So that's what I'm gonna do. But first and foremost, with a blank canvas, of course, you have to plan out how you lay things all the way down. Now see a bootleg interior designer live at work, guys. There's a lot of trial and error in making sure everything looks clean, it'll keep the eye moving, and that the color palettes are somewhat contiguous. <laughs> 
So once I had my formula all the way set up, I had to get this wire pinned to the edge of the cinder block. Then it was time to nail in some uh, hangers and make sure the bangers were on full display in the way in which I planned these bad boys, you heard me? Oh yeah. And also because it is cinder block, I'm gonna be hanging up everything on these walls with these command strips. They can hold up to five pounds. So hopefully uh, this does secure and do the job. And because this is thrift heavy finish, thriftheavyfinish.com, I had to hang up Jesus Christ right by the door for everlasting blessings. Then I added Whedon Boys, Troy, and of course, Big Daddy Emmett, Emmett Smith. And then Shaquille O'Neal, in the city of Los Angeles. And then you guys saw it, man. I just blocked out everything else that I had framed up. And last and not least, I threw Dion because of course it is Cowboys Nation, a little calendar that I thrifted and framed, and then some little small postcards that Mama Cantu sent me along with the Life Magazine. All right, guys, it is officially day number three oh, of decorating the office for my uh, renovation fuck oh and i forgot to mention this i found a ton of jordan posters wait, and no, other wait, cool wait. decor such as these weedy wait, boxes no, wait, wait. and all of that um up in one of the closets of my house it's buried underneath a bunch of like blocks so this is always a good sign even the jeff gordon flag absolutely glorious man so yeah we about to go off all right so first piece is Mr. Alex Rodriguez. Please do not knock these off the wall. Then I threw up a Miguel Jordan poster on the other five pound command script and it looked glorious. Then one time for Clutch City, I threw up the Houston Rockets poster and what is A-Rod doing next to me? What is he doing right there? Okay guys, we've made minimal progress. I'm not gonna lie. I had the A-Rod picture like literally fall, shatter another picture and it was a mess. I almost concussed myself. But regardless, man, there still is this blank section. We almost have this whole area teased out. I think instead of trying to keep putting crap on this, uh, this little wall right here, the shinder block, I'm just gonna go ahead and put a shelf right here. That way there'll be a little bit of 3D action happening, Captain. But uh, nevertheless, I planned out all the rest and it is right here on the floor and this is a lot easier than trying to go piece by piece and freestyle on the walls so i think this is about how much wall i have left so uh let's get it in the homie man it's like a religious will ferrell or something Daddy, this wall is done and is absolutely popping. All right, guys, so this wall is officially done. It is now day four of trying to fully renovate and get done decorating the office. And I think today is the day it will be completed. Now, I just threw up a couple of pictures right here above Mr. Dion Sanders. In the corner, you got Jesus and you got Reese's. And now it's time for me to take on one of the most difficult tasks of decorating my last cinder block wall. Ah, I swear, cinder block is the material nightmares are made of. Now I looked all the way up because there were some pilot holes that the previous leaser had put in the wall and I used them to hang up art. The rest I'm using command strips to attempt to hang a bunch of stuff. And then I'll probably put some laminated pieces up with some painter's tape as well. We're gonna see if this will hold. I think it will. Sketchy, but worked. Ah. Then I threw up some more pieces just with painter's tape to not damage the walls, and they didn't have frames, so it was simple. All right, so I'll put up two more command strips right here. I have two framed Sports Illustrated covers. Just look at it, Dad. And these guys definitely hung up like some gems. All right, now this corner is still blank. And this could be another area I shoot video at or maybe even live stream from. So uh, I'm gonna try and get this big Barry Sanders in this corner and hopefully it doesn't take out the command strip. But uh, there really is only one way to find out. Oh God. 
Let's go. They can't stop me, daddy. Then I put up more records, some toys, and I just overall try to fill up the wall with hella vintage decor. All right, this is one of the last pictures going up. Twice is nice. I had to frame the cover. Look at that mat. This thing is gorgeous. All right, y'all, I think the studio is looking sick, but last and not least, we have this blank spot right here that I wanna put a shelf in. So I just carried this shelf all the way up a bunch of stairs. Now let's put it in and hopefully we can decorate it with some cool stuff. So I only had a few odds and ends on hand, but I'll probably refine this shelf with a few more cool collectibles as I bring them back from my crib. But man, the shelf still looked absolutely glorious. Oh yeah, drink it up like some fine wine. Oh, it feels good guys. We have the studio completely made over. This is part two. I still have to build some furniture and do some other stuff, but it definitely is nice to be able to pretty much walk around at any angle and to have a cool popping backdrop and that is most assuredly what I wanted. Now this area definitely needs some more stuff on the shelf. I wanna add some more stuff to the walls. I ran out of command strips and frames for this area. I want something really cool to go right here that does work with it. I might put a fish tank or some other storage right here. Man, y'all know it's going down, but thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys would like to support, just please hit that like button. It is free to do. It is the best way to help me out. And then also you guys can grab gear either on my website, which is thriftheavenvintage.com. And I do live streams on the app, Whatnot, where I live auction off items every single Tuesday at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. But yes, man. This goes to show what a little bit of hard work, basically two weeks of dedication can do. All of these items I found in the thrift or I upcycled for magazines. So that definitely is what I love to do. But once again, thank you guys for joining me. Live the dream, eat that ice cream. And until next time, I am locked, I am loaded, and I'm out. Peace. I love you guys, man. Thanks for supporting all these years. You guys are awesome. I'm out. Killing these songs, leaving a bloody life I roost to And I'm in it to win it, so I'm somebody that you should get used to